Hello, this is Brian with Blastbeat ATX, aka Blastbeat Industries. Sorry I didn't post anything yesterday. We are here in Austin, Texas, are having an allergy apocalypse because the weather is so crazy. So I wasn't sick like go to the doctor, but I, I like was just blowing my nose every three seconds, having that searing, you know that feeling when oxygen goes in your sinus cavities for the first time in six months, that thing. So if I got a bolt real quick, I got to blow my nose. But anyway, I got unrelated to the video I want to do, the typical Blast BATX stuff. I got a, a music situation for the first, not for the literally the first time ever, but normally I don't do the music because of the whole copyright thing. And some people are, hey, I already worked at rock and roll for a long time. I know how sensitive these bands are about this stuff, but this is Chillville on 101X. My man Monty, the host of Chillville on 101X, retweeted in name check Blast Beat Industries. So this is a public broadcast and we're citing our source. So please tune in to Chillville on 101X on Sunday mornings and we're going to use the music. We may, we may start a little tradition here doing that. Um, that is not what I wanted to talk about today. What I want to talk about is... I was posting some new items to the Blastbeat ATX eBay page where, you know, hey, where's, where's my thing? Let me show you the slogan. Right here. New items posted constantly. And i that's one of the tenets of the business is new stuff all the time. And I had a stack of football and I got, I got a little process I do, you know, in my little office here and it, Something stopped me in my tracks. It was Jared Stidham. Stidham? Okay, how you pronounce that? I think it's Stidham. Of the New England Patriots, back up to Tom Brady. And this is a foil insert of what, the Introducing's insert series. It's a really cool card. I'm always a sucker for when the uh, borders match the uniforms. I like that as opposed to like the infamous 91 Fleer set with the yellow borders that just look like mustard on the outside of a picture. I don't know. But I had this in the sale pile and I looked at it. And there was a couple things I'd heard this week that just really stopped me in my tracks. I was like, wait, wait, I don't think I want to sell this, at least not this one. And part of that is like Lamar Jackson. I've sold almost all of the base cards of him, the, the regular normal rookies. And so there's collector interest out there. But I don't know if you saw this week, Tom Brady, for the first time in like 10 years or something, has not been named to the Pro Bowl. He is going home after the playoffs are over one way or another. And the losses the Patriots have had this year were like bad losses. The, the Houston Texans, uh, they really stuck it to them. So who knows how far or how deep. I know they won the Super Bowl last year, and, you know, it's not beyond the pale that they win it again. But how deep is he going to go? How, how quick is this going to be? So what does this have to do with Jared Stidham? This is what the absolute football here, he's in all the sets this year, is we may have like a Steve Young situation where I think he played one game, he played one half against the Jets, and it was like they had a 30 to nothing lead at halftime. He's, he filled in on garbage time. He's mostly been holding the clipboard. But where I think this may be on to something is – Say next year is going to be Tom Brady's last season. Whenever Tom Brady's last season happens, be it next year, five years from now, whatever it is, it's going to be like Derek Jeter. It's going to be like Kobe Bryant. It's going to be the farewell tour. So there's going to be a gentleman's agreement that no defender is going to cream him real hard. And he's probably just going to play the first half and say goodbye to everyone, do the wave and all that. And your man Jared's probably going to play the second. So he's going to play half a season, but literally the second half of all the games. You know, and then the year after that, he'd take over full time. It seemed of all the different, how many different backup quarterbacks has Tom Brady had in his career? Like a lot, over a dozen, you know, it's, I just got the feeling this might be the guy who actually takes over. You know, he may be the next Captain Kirk of the Patriots up there, especially if Belichick stays around, you know, and so I'm going to hang on to this one. 
And y'all think about that. Think about what y'all want to do with them. If you have an overabundance of them, if you're one of the mass box openers, you're going to stack a 20, then yeah, you know, because there's nothing stopping this guy from getting hurt today or whatever. You know, there, there is a, a risk involved financially. But I think I'd hang on to some of the nicer ones, see how this thing plays out. So that's our video for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned to Blastbeat ATX, a.k.a. Blastbeat Industries, and I will see you later.